Proverbs, <laughs> sorry, 31. And we are closing with a boom. Check that out. The rocket is in the air. Guys, this rocket has been scrubbed so many times in the past week. And I can tell you because I am a nerd when it comes to this. But it was just for us because today is Proverbs 31. So we are finishing. I'm in with this. What can I say? I mean, God is good. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. I feel so honored. I mean, the things that he does. It's just crazy. It's simply crazy. And um, it amazes me at all times. <laughs> so here we are. Proverbs 31. Watching this guy going up the sky thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you Jesus so with that with that minor detail let's go ahead and read Proverbs 31 our last one thank you Jesus and we're reading the saints of King Lemuel. The saints of King Lemuel contain this message which, is, which his mother taught him. O oh, my son, O oh, son of my womb, O oh, son of my vows, do not waste your strength on women, on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, to guzzle wine. Rulers should not crave alcohol. For they, no, for if they drink, they may forget the law and not give justice to the oppressed. Alcohol is for the dying, and wine for those in bitter distress. Let them drink to forget their poverty and remember their troubles no more. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Ensure justice for those being crushed. Yes, speak up for the poor and helpless and see that they get justice. Now we're going to read A Wife of Noble Character. Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She finds wool and flax and busily spins it. She is like a merchant's ship, bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn to, to prepare breakfast for her household and plan the day's work for her servant girls. She goes to inspect a field and buys it. With her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable. Her lamp burns late into the night. Her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fiber. She extends a helping hand to the poor and opens her arms to the needy. She has no fear of winter for her household, for everyone has warm clothes. She makes her own bread, bread spreads. She dresses in fine linen and purple gowns. Her husband is well known at the city gates, 
where he sits with the other civic leaders. She makes belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instructions with kindness. She carefully watches everything in her household and suffers nothing from laziness. Her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, and beauty does not last. But a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Reward her for all she has done. Let her deeds, not let her deeds publicly decre- declare her praise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. I mean, thank you, Father, because, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know how to explain it. This is just amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for your word. And we want to be like her. Lord, we want to be like that virtuous woman. Which, in fact, it's you. We want to be like you. So, have an amazing day. I mean, we now have the 31 days of the Proverbs. So, we can go every single month. And read them over and over and over again because we need this wisdom on a daily basis so thank you I am honored that you allowed me these 31 days to read alongside with you and declare God's Word on a daily basis God bless you stay tuned another book will be coming up soon